we've had some interesting communications with people uh, that even brought up the term civilly dead. I know we've mentioned it probably in previous videos. Uh, the, the best clarification I can uh, bring to you on this subject of civilly dead, uh, which I believe relates to what's going on under the, the birth certificate, uh, the civilly dead position, civilly dead sounds bad off the top when you think about it. Many times we think of people in prison as civilly dead because uh, they have no rights. They're not, really, they're not really in society at that moment. They're locked up, they're boxed in, they're not able to operate as most other people that are loose. Um, I've made jokes in the past that it's almost like people are not on parole, they're on payroll. Um, it's like you're already uh, deemed to be a criminal, but you're just let out there to work off the debt. And to an extent in the world of spiritual, that would be quite accurate because a spiritual man uh, in, is not really to be involved in secular matters. And in fact, that's actually a, a maxim uh, that deals along that line that says that a, a spiritual man need not be involved in secular uh, matters. So to, uh, to clarify, a spiritual man to a, to a large extent or someone who is dedicated to the idea of treasures in heaven, not treasures on earth, not trying to accumulate wealth, property, or the things that are really just conceptual. They're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not reality because all those things are placed on paper and certainly paper doesn't make something real just because it's on paper. It just seems to be the fictional way man seems to bind things. But the civilly dead position uh, would relate to the fact is that civil has to do with secular. It also has to do with the right to bear arms. It relates to the militia, which means you're prepared to actually defend the state. You just haven't been called in yet or drafted. So do not get too friendly with the term civilian because that's what it also relates to. And it relates to the fact of also being involved uh, in having the responsibility to know more than four million laws and statutes. So the civilian part is not something uh, that uh, people should take lightly. When you're dealing with the spiritual, the ecclesiastical division of society, which is a separate uh, part of society, that's those that are strictly spiritual. Do not confuse them with secular priests who get a payroll for being a priest at a church. They're, they're on a payment schedule for such. They're not there based on love. They're there based on the fact that they get a payroll to do that as a career. Uh, it'd be no different than a dentist, doctor, or a lawyer. It's just another form of getting money, uh, working in an occupation. Just the location is a, is a man-made building uh, that claims that it actually has spirituality waiting for those that attend. The other division, of course, is the military. So civilly dead uh, relates more for spiritual people because those that are going to be spiritual would remain civilly dead to the world. They're no part of it. Therefore, there must be an exemption for such people, for such participants, that are not here to leave behind a legacy. Those that know that you can't take it with you. Those that are in reality to what God has promised. So we want to clarify the fact that in our belief, uh, most likely any exemption for uh, duty, debt, or obligation to perform civilly would relate to civil death and therefore most likely uh, an exemption or bankruptcy protection.